I'm Ann Marshall and I'm fascinated by archetypes and would love to discuss with you today the student. So this is a card from Carolyn Mace's deck regarding archetypes and the student has some similarities to both seeker as well as dilettante. Um, some of the characteristics are that she or he has a willingness to study and to learn, a uh, real eagerness around learning, and the, knows that learning builds on itself. It's not a one and done. And that there are also multiple forms and ways of learning as well as different forms of intelligence. Now each archetype has both a shadow side and a light shadow. Uh, sorry, light and shadow, and it's not that one is good or bad or better than, it's, it's just an awareness. So if you have any semblance of, of student in you, just knowing whether we're falling on the shadow side or the light aspect can have a, a difference in the choices that you make and your behavior. So it's just wonderful introspective self-awareness. So the shadow aspect of the student might include that she has to have the uh, the answer. There's only one right answer and she has to have that answer. The shadow student needs to know everything and needs to know it now and um, puts that learning uh, perhaps above other things that might be equally important. The shadow student also takes uh, refuge in the safety of the classroom or they call it an ivory tower for a reason. And so she may read all the books, she may take all the workshops, do all, does all the courses, but she doesn't really apply the knowledge. She has a real fear of failing, failing uh, that she doesn't know enough, that she's not good enough, that she doesn't have the, the right information in which to proceed. And she also is unable to critically think wants that black or white, uh, but really uh, not good with the open-ended, likes the more yes, no, and, and having that, that real clear delineation line. But in the light aspect, um, she knows that life is a lifelong learning process that there's always something to be learned and that failure is a part of that. So she makes mistakes, she acknowledges those make mistakes, she tries repeatedly uh, and, and she deep down knows that there's more than one right answer, that there are many ways to interpret and to uh, examine and explore those different nuances of of um, clarity and grayness, if you will. She sees situations as learning opportunities and that in those situations, she's willing to apply the body of information and knowledge that she's accumulated over time. And um, she uh, r really has that ability to critical think and on the card, it says here under the light attributes that she has humility and devotion to knowledge and openness to lifelong learning. So this may resonate with you or you might uh, automatically be able to think that this might apply to some people that you know. I like to really look at some of the symbolism and maybe some of the graphics that could be used for a student. So I'm all about making the archetypes into art forms so that people can see the light and the shadow and recognize that part because in, in truth we have all of the archetypes. They come in, they go, they visit us, they kind of weave in and out of our daily life, uh, but we probably do resonate with a core, several of them. And as a matter of fact, student definitely resonates with me as one of my core. And uh, I've been uh, definitely subject to many of the shadow aspects. And uh, that constant learning has been a, a real drive uh, as well as a real, um, uh, maybe deterrent or that I'll put, I'll put uh, a new study ahead of 
maybe completing something that I already started. And I even remember one person said to me at one point, he said, you know, why, why is there always something that you're after? Why are you always going after something? Why can't you just be happy with the way things are? And it's just very much in my nature to pursue more, more information, more knowledge, more understanding of how things works and, and the subject matter. So when I look at the symbols or maybe some of the uh, graphics or icons that be, can be used with students, I'm really trying to kind of stretch here to think about it. Uh, I think of a notebook and pen, and I do imagine a classroom situation, certainly some kind of book, um, at, you know, a head down kind of introspective or reading posture. Um, let's see, book bag, um, a pile of books, library. At one point I actually wanted to be a librarian. Um, yeah, those vast halls of books and manuscripts and editions and encyclopedias, those could all be good graphics to be considered with the, the student archetype. And um, maybe diplomas and graduation uniforms, the cap and gown. Um, Those school pictures, you know, in the classroom, I don't know if they still do them these days, but uh, even the yearbook uh, photographs, you know, that would be a, a symbol. Maybe some, maybe a pointer or chalkboard, kind of moving into teacher. Uh, so, a worthwhile kind of just going down the path of what are some of those symbols that could be associated with student and regarding teacher a lot of times people think they have both teacher and student and Carolyn Mace who of course has been very very prolific in her coming forth of information that's been downloaded to her from higher sources uh, really strongly suggests that you have either either the um, teacher or the student, but not, not both. And then what I want to just invite you is if you find this conversation at all interesting, that you like the discussion on archetypes and how it relates to art, and the ancient wisdom that's woven throughout all of the dialogues that the archetypes speak, uh, then please consider joining us. I have a once a month Zoom meetup. It's called Art, Archetype, and Ancient Wisdom Community in Action and would love for you to join us and um, click on the bio or the link below for more information about that and make it a fascinating archetypal magnificent day.